All right, our top story of the day brings us to the state of California. I will be signing Governor Plastic Newsom, because he's pretty much a Ken doll, backs California Democratic push to limit concealed carry guns. Uh, yeah, here's the problem with this whole thing. If we look at our state constitution uh, um, guidelines, which every state should have, or according to their state constitutions, the great state of California, unfortunately, does not have any provision in there to protect your right to keep and bear arms. Now, of course, as I say, there are states that don't have this provision like New York and New Jersey, because back when they were founded and their constitutions were ratified, nobody ever thought we'd get to this point where crazy uh, Democrats, communists, progressives, whatever you want to call them, would be trying to seize and take your firearms because that never was going to cross their mind. Also, California has had a long time and was a very red state for a very long time that could have enshrined in their state constitution a right to keep and bear arms. But since they don't have that, they have to count on SCOTUS and SCOTUS is not a quick reaction court to to keep your state senators in line. So let's take a look at this right now. The move marks the second attempt at shoring up California's regulations after the June 2022 U.S. Supreme Court decision struck down key provisions of the state's law. Now, this is pretty nefarious of the the California politicians, and you hear this throughout the article, is that who are they going after? They're going after legal gun owners, people that took the step from the state of California to get this license. And of course, I would like to remind you, according to every town's own statistics, California is number one in gun safety law. It has some of the strongest gun laws in the country and leads the nation for having the most comprehensive system for removing firearms from those who are legally prohibited, pro, uh, I always stumble on this word, prohibited from having a gun. You'll, you'll catch that. So I want you to remember that as we go through this article where Newsom talks about all these things, we'll highlight once again that California has every single gun law one could dream up. So let's take a look. Newsom, standing alongside Attorney General Rob Abanta, Senator Anthony Portinano of Burbank, and other Democratic leaders, is there any other kind in, in California, and gun control advocates, said that the state... Uh, the state's recent mass events pushed him to continue to fight to make California a leader in gun control. They're not only the a leader, they're the leader. <laughs> they are the leader in gun control. There's nobody else out there outside of, I know, China, as our dear leader used to say, China. But um, outside of that, nobody else in these United States has anything close to it. And of course, they trot out the exact same lines. We're saving lives, but we have more work to do in this effort because all the laws that you have, I like to call them sandwiched, uh, much like a delicious sandwich. You have your bread, then you have your meat, then you have your lettuce, tomato, condiments, and then the bread on top of that. Think about that with their gun laws. They have one law, then they have another law, then they have another law. And they just sandwich them on top of each other, and it doesn't do anything. They already have the laws in place. All the things that, that Plastic Newsom wants to talk about, they have. The latest push to rewrite the state's law following a deadly wave of gun violence in both urban and rural parts of the state, including Monterey Park, Half Moon Bay, Goshen, Oakland, San Diego, and Los Angeles, once again, number one in gun laws. In the recent shootings, three people were killed inside a car and four others were wounded in a shooting on January 28th near Beverly Hills. Once again, they were committing a crime. And as um, you would look in recent articles, they're trying to explain away why California having all of these gun regulations, they still have shootings. They say, well, of course, if somebody's going to commit a crime, they'll just lie on the background check. And guess what? That's against the law too. But they even, they even make the remarks that, listen, these laws don't get enforced. They look good on bumper stickers. They look good at these campaign rallies. They look good in all these other places, but they're never actually enforced. 
And of course, Plastic Newsom acknowledges that a concealed carry law wouldn't prevent every gun death in California. He state he states that the state was solving for a pattern. You know what that is? That is a solution looking for a problem of gun violence, including uh, deletions, domestic violence, and police killings. Well, once again, I, I really do love this website because when they say these things, why don't we take a look at some of the stuff that you have in California, according to every town, little Bloomberg's favorite uh, gun control um, device. So he mentioned domestic violence, deletions, and these other things. Oh, look, stalker prohibition, relinquishment for domestic abusers, prohibition, relinquishment for convicted domestic abusers, prohibition, uh, pro prohibition for domestic abusers under restraining orders, prohibition for convicted domestic abusers. What are you talking about with domestic violence, homie? You have every single law you could have on the books and then some. And guess what? They still didn't work in the half, bay, half uh, boo, uh, Moon Bay shooting. Because that 78-year-old Asian man who was already convicted or had a history of that kind of abuse still got his hands on a firearm. The governor cited a 2022 study, and they all love citing their studies, which I love to debunk here. Um, that study was actually entitled more guns, more intended consequence, unintended consequences. The effects of right to carry on criminal behavior and policing where? You guessed it, in U.S. cities. In U.S. cities. Uh, now, of course, they want to throw in the... Oh, it's happening in urban and rural areas. Right, because I'm sure the amount of gun violence that takes place in Northern California is equal or above that what takes place in Los Angeles. But of course, the way that this is being framed is this is a statewide problem, even though it's not. So he cited this June 2022 study that said right to carry laws increase firearm homicides by 13% in cities. Like the crime wasn't taking place there to begin with. Um, so... Newsom juxtaposed California's effort with Florida legislatures who earlier this week introduced a measure to allow residents of the Sunshine State to carrying guns in public without a permit as long as they are not prohibited from owning a firearm. Um, of course, they have to, you know, I don't know what plastic Newsom has uh, for Florida. Obviously, it's the complete and other um, opposite of what's going on in California. But Florida is doing a lot better, as as some would call Governor Newsom. Uh, he's not really doing well for the population, and he just continues to to prove this. Who cares what's going on in Florida, man? Florida, <laughs> of course. Who cares what's going on in that state? That has nothing to do with you. But of course, they have to. Well, look at these people in Florida who have all these rights and freedoms and ability to do things. And it's a reckless approach that endangers everyone and will lead to more deaths. Guess what, Plastic? They voted for it. Did we not just see that the Florida Republicans and the governor included had a massive wave in that state? So, so mind your business. Focus on your state where you imply every single handgun law and, and assault weapon law that you can on the books. And it still does nothing because even by Bloomberg's own count, 3,160 people die of gun violence every year. And I don't, I'm not somebody who is um, happy about that. I'm not. And, and neither in any way, shape, or form am I happy about that. But if you're going to argue for a stripping of, of a God-given right, you better give me 0, 0.0 on that. You better give me 0, 0.0 because you can't. So Senate Bill 2, which Portonato introduced on uh, December 5th, would update the state's concealed carry licensing process, add new age restrictions, impose strict gun storage and training mandates, and limit where permit holders could carry firearms in public. Now, unfortunately, you're at the whims of your governor, and you're at the whims of whatever the SCOTUS decides because you have no state permit or no state recourse for you. And I love how they say this. We're not taking away someone's Second Amendment right. 
We're ensuring that every sec we're ensuring that the Second Amendment is properly ap uh, applicable to people who weren't getting a concealed carry permit because it was so easy to get one in your state beforehand. <laughs> because it was just because they were just tossing them out like pancakes, and now they have to make it a little bit more um, more difficult. So, of course, they have to, in this law uh, article, talk about the Bruin case, Bruin versus New York State Pistol and Rifle Association back in uh, 2022. U.S. Supreme Court last year, in the case of New York State Rifle and Pistol Association versus Bruin, invalidated May carry laws in eight states, including California. Those laws required, and of course, don't worry, the mainstream media will cape for, uh, for gun restriction. They required applicants to demonstrate a specific need to carry a gun in public. How about I live in L.A. and I need a gun? Uh, and they would handle it responsibly. The courts, I mean, that's the same thing as, you know, you can't tell anybody's intent with something. We don't live in a proactive society. We can't. We don't live in pre-grime areas. The high court affirmed a constitutional, quote-unquote, right to carry and ruled that the law is subject to with subjective standards for concealed weapon permits violates Second Amendment gun rights. That same day, Attorney General Rob Bonta and Portonado introduced plans to make California's regulations as strong as the new legal precedent allows. But on the last night of 2022, the bill was uh, not able to advance by two votes. And he talks about how he was trying to whip votes that night. I don't really care about your lack of being able to whip votes to strip people's rights away. Blah, blah, blah. California's lawmakers push for new gun control laws. Now they say what happens in California will affect the rest of the country. So this is why we got to take a look at it. Portnado's latest attempt, which is Senate Bill 2, largely mirrors the original version of the bill. The bill would require those who want to carry firearms in public to be 21 years or older and have at least 16 hours of training. Permit holders would then be prohibited from carrying their guns in a wide range of settings, including schools, courts, government buildings, prisons, hospitals, airports, and bars. So pretty much nowhere. Legal questions loom over this bill. A district court last fall blocked portions of a New York law meant to shore up the state's concealed carry permitting system, including character requirements and bans on guns in certain places. It is also to be noted that New York does not have a provision within its state constitution to allow you to keep and carry, uh, you keep and bear arms. So Sam Padres, uh, the executive director of gun owners of California said his organization is prepared to challenge any concealed carry law that is signed by the governor specifically. Um, and I'm sorry if we are lagging right now because we're not having great weather out here. So excuse the lag. Um, so he says that the bill is in a direct violation of what Bruin stated, and they're going to continue to challenge it. So I hope they do well on that. And unfortunately, because they don't have a right to keep and bear arms, they're going to be in a little bit more of a difficult situation. And I don't know. It, the state of California is the state of California. You're going to do what you're going to have to do out there. Thank you.